hi guys so in this video we are going to design a samsung galaxy banner using corel draw so this is the background i'll be using for the design i've already downloaded it and power clip it into the page frame so the next thing you do is just bring this your samsung here to the left a little bit then these are the text i'll be using so the text I'm using for the Samsung Galaxy that is this is the quality of the phone now press ctrl u to ungroup it then give this text white color all this text white color and like it is now give it white color and also give this white color after I'm done I like everything and press ctrl g on your keyboard to group it so the next thing is to give this a shadow by going to this side and choose an interactive drop shadow too. Then come here and choose on this flat stop left. So it will give it a flat stop left shadow just like this. Now reduce the transparency a little bit. Now drop the two. So the next step is to click on the text tool, then type Galaxy Galaxy S S8 because this is the name of the font. Now increase it and then give the fonts type to area black. Now increase the font size a little bit. Now bring this down, then give it magnetic color. Then right click here to take off its outline. So the next step click on your rectangle tool. Then draw a shape like this and hold control down to make all sides equal while drawing it. After I have drawn it, down, click on your shape tool here. After that, click on this square here and hold shifts and click on this also. Now draw it like this. So you draw it up to make it a curve outline. Now bring it here. Then go to effects. Then choose place side container the power click it. Now to edit content, hold control down and power click and bring it up just like this now reduce it right click here on the magnet to give it a magnet outline then reduce it a little bit just like this then give it a magnet color right click to take off its outline then click on ellipse tool then draw a circle like this now increase it here like this Bring this down. Now increase, reduce it a little bit. Now choose your interactive filter and drag it like this. Click on this side and give it this pop color here. And this white one, go to this side and give it this violet here. Now right click to take off it out line A. So drop the two. Now click on your text tool. Type twenty percent off. Now press Ctrl E and press Ctrl E to align everything to center. Now drop the two. Now increase it. Now change the font type to four two. Just like this. Now bring it here. Now give it white color. So highlight everything. Then we'll reduce it a little bit. Now group it. Now hold shift and click on this background and press it as it to align everything vertically. After that, click finishing editing objects. As you can see. So now the next step bring this galaxy up here. Increase the, the font size just like this. Now click on interactive view tool. Drag it like this to give it a linear transparency, linear color rather. After that, right click here on the magnetar to give it an outline. Then press Ctrl Q to convert it to curves. Now give it a two point outline, just like this. After that, click on our ellipse tool again, draw, draw a ellipse to just like this, and don't make it white. Just make it this simple, just like this. I'll give it my meta color. 
and right click here to take off the timeline. Then choose your imperative transparency tool and drag it and do it. So reduce it a little bit. Reduce it like this. Now bring this down. Now press Z to keep on to zoom it. Click on the active transparency to transparency to then adjust it. Press the hand. Now press shift M4 to zoom everything to page. As you can see. Now reduce it by side just like this. Now press Ctrl key on your keyboard to break this apart. Now undo it, then reduce this by side to this side. Just like this. Then bring this up a little bit. And this up a little bit. And bring it down. After that, this is the Samsung, the Samsung logo. And give it a white color and move it up then just like this. Shift it to this side. Now I like everything and press Ctrl G. So if you have any comments, leave it down in the comment section. And if you like this video, you can share it with your friends and any other people you want this to meet. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in our next video.